morning. We are here. This is the season finale. This is after uh, championship Sunday, championship weekend, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this is, you know, supposed to be our, you know, war celebration show. It, it, it definitely is going to be. But, you know, you know, something happened on Monday that, uh, you know, not only, you know, shocked football, obviously, but it also affected a lot of fantasy uh, football leagues as well. Um, just real quick, as you know, DeMar Hamlin, the whole situation, um, you know, glad that he's, you know, getting better. Last thing I heard was still in critical, but progression, progressing, <clears throat> excuse me, quite well. Um, and definitely prayers to him and everybody, you know, affected by that for sure. But what I want to know is, was your champion, I guess I should have put championship per se, affected by the canceled game? Um, for me, yeah, mine's definitely was, um, uh, heading into Monday, I was down 14. The other guy had no one left. I had Gay Davis left. So in my opinion, I still had a legitimate chance of pulling it off. Absolutely. So as a result, um, cause it was definitely a lot of, uh, definitely a lot of, uh, conversation back and forth between me and the guy and the commissioner and the league itself. Um, and so what resulted is in that particular league, since he was up, they gave him the crown, which is fine I, at that point. There's nothing I could do with that. But uh, as far as the winnings, it, yeah. they uh, they ended up splitting it down the middle. Which I didn't expect that at first because based on conversation, it was about to be just first place get their regular 75%, second place get their 25%. But I guess in the end, they ended up splitting it. I mean, the only reason why I wasn't tripping as hard because that was my third straight trip to the finals in that particular league. And it's like – I mean, it is what it is. That's one of those, like, that's basically a once-in-a-lifetime type situation where the last game of the championship week and most majority of leagues, the game is canceled. Like, well, yeah. when it, you know, where does that happen at, right? So, what I guess, what are your thoughts about all of this? I know yeah. you wasn't really in I didn't, it, I, I didn't make any championships in it because uh, I only play in, like, three leagues. Um but I, I kind of don't like that, man. Like, because that's not that's not really fair. Uh, you weren't able to have all your players play uh, play a full game. Um, you said it's a once in a lifetime. Hopefully, this is a, the last time. You know, hopefully, nobody ever has to deal with this again. Uh, so that's a you know very unfortunate situation. Uh, it's a prayers to uh, Demar Hamlin. And yeah, I've, I've been following. I think you know the world almost stopped. You know when that happened, and uh, you know just kind of. It kind of really brought light to the, you know, to the game. But you know, he's progressing. Like I've literally, like every day, just kind of looked up and been like, "Hey, how's he doing today? How's he doing today?" Type stuff. Uh, but yeah, like I, I kind of think that's not fair. I mean, I, you can. Uh, why don't we do the uh, Steve McNair, Peyton Manning co MVP thing or like co champion? Like, cause that's you didn't get a. I don't think you got a really fa a fair kick. So yeah, he could take on the or he or she can take on the uh, the title of champion, but, like, we don't really know, you know, if you're the champion. I think that's a, a better way. Cause in the leagues that I had that were um, – the league that I had that uh, it was affected, you know, they kind of just split – they split the earnings as well. Um, it was, like, basically like a tie. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, – that, that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, it's like – it, it sucks because it's like you go throughout the whole year, all these weeks to this moment, and then the last game to decide it, there's no game. Yeah. I mean, the situation sucks to how, how it happened, obviously, but just for everything else after the fact, it, it sucks. 
It does. Um, Foxborough News. Uh, basically, what up, guys? Happy New Year. I got a chip finally in my 14 team and came in third in my 16. Y'all helped a lot. Can't wait till next year. Congrats. Uh, was your was your league affected by what happened Monday, or was it already concluded at that point, Foxborough? Uh, just curious, because because that's definitely because I mean that game had a lot of you know profile players, a lot. It's not like we was watching, you know, like uh, the Panthers and I don't know the Rams or somebody like that where you would hardly start anybody in those matchups, right? But it was like Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, Jamar Chase, Stephon Diggs, T. Higgins. I mean, it, the list goes on. Gabe Davis. <laughs> it just – it goes on. So it's like, man, it, it's just a terrible situation. Yeah. I kind of appreciate – this This kind of made me appreciate the league I'm in. we got like 10 teams. Um, I know the season's a little bit shorter. Um, I was telling you guys I was in the playoffs a little week earlier. I'm like, yeah, because I mean, not to say like anybody could have predicted this right here, but it kind of gets it over with earlier. Uh, and people are they're still playing meaningful games. Uh, you know, you never know when you're in a situation where you know teams are sitting people for the playoffs because of injuries, and you're not really making that scramble. So I, I got I really do appreciate that league that much more now because mm-hmm. I we didn't really have to deal with it. And when I uh, when I asked that question in uh, in our group, one person was like, uh, "We're gonna take the scores from week 18 <laughs> this week and apply it." I'm what? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. I mean, yeah, that's that's wild. I I get it's it's different, yeah. and it. And I guess it can work just for the simple fact that I guess both teams, the Bills and the Bengals, got something to play for today. Yeah. Per se. So they're gonna play their guys, but it's, yeah, that's just different. Uh uh-uh. you know what would have been cool on the just on the fantasy part, like if the commissioner would have been like, okay, uh in a situation like this, like from here on out, you know how you have your projected points. Like if something like this happened and the game is canceled, you could basically fill in those projected points and That'd be it, cause it's not it's uh, it's generated through fantasy football. It's not you know, you know what I'm saying. It could it could suck, but at the same time, like, what are, what's the likelihood of this happening again? Probably like slim to none. Um, yeah, but if the commissioner said, "I'm like, all right, well, this is what was projected. We're gonna at least give you this, and that's the chance that you have." I mean, not definitely not the worst idea at all. Yeah. Definitely not. Uh, Foxborough said, yeah, I had Burrow and he had Singletary, but I was up like 60. Oh, yeah, you had nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that's – yeah, see, that's different. Um, In our Destination Fantasy League, uh, I'm glad that that was already concluded before Monday's game, so glad for that. And then Commissioner in this uh, other league that I have with Deshaun, we call it the main league, and – uh, one of the guys had Burrow, but the other guy had someone else. But the guy that was up, he was up like 35, 40 points. So I was like, that's – unless this game about to score 70 points by Cincinnati with all right. throwing touchdowns on huh? yeah. Yeah. Or if, if Ty Gurley comes out of nowhere, uh, was it back in 0, like, what, 06, 07? Let's <laughs> <laughs> see he's about to hit the field. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's not Gurley was out. It was after 06, 07, wasn't it? Like, what year was that? You said Gurley? Yeah. Remember Ty oh, Gurley? He was just like a fantasy cheat code. It was like, okay, like, if I got Ty oh, Gurley, I got it. 14, 15, 16, somewhere. All right. There. So, yeah, if you had Ty Gurley from, you know, those years. Was crazy, man. Boy, especially when that Rams office really started to turn up all the way around. Yeah. It, was, it was over. Oh, yeah. It was over. Um. So yeah, anybody that that won, anybody that has any thoughts about all of this, um, definitely chime in. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, so, got a couple of awards here, but um, you know, anybody that we we should probably give shout outs to this year. 
we I say we we definitely give it. Um, and I'll and I'll start with a couple of shout outs here. The two running backs that a lot of people deem, you know, injury prone actually, you know, gave top five performances this year overall, Christian McCaffrey and uh Saquon Barkley. CMC finished, I believe, second overall, and Barkley, I think, was five. So that was uh definitely uh a change of the narrative there a little bit there. Um Let's see. And then Ray said, also heard some sites that uh, they have a winning projected percentage. They combine first and second place. Money's divided up that way. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like, I mean, like a couple of like Facebook groups that's just fantasy football learned with like thousands of people. And it just, I, I just been seeing some of those wackiest craziest scenario i i don't know like definitely say some some uh solutions are better than others from what i've seen yeah um all right so so the i have a war called the pater king basically this uh this man has found the end zone the whole time and this man is actually your rb1 for the year we call him the heckler, but his name is Austin Eckler. And what got any any thoughts on your on your boy here, the heckler? Nah, hey, hey, um, it, Austin Eckler. I'm gonna mention mention somebody else who had a phenomenal year at the running Uh-oh. back. Uh-oh. Uh, Josh Jacobs, man. <sighs> that, don't call it a comeback, man, because you know last year it was kind of like, oh, he's he's falling off, and you know. Yeah, I think it's contract year. Um, that man just he just secured the bag with this year. But hey, the heckler, the heckler did his thing, bro. He's he's a stud. <laughs> hey man, I, the fact that he leads the league in touchdowns, like That's crazy. That is, it's, man. He he basically was the engine to that offense this year for the for the Chargers. I know, yeah. I know your boy Herbert. I know he's Love sensational. Him. But I think Austin is a little bit more consistent there for them yeah, this year. Because he, he can do so much. I mean, he can catch. You know, he runs. He can run tough. I mean, he's, yeah, he just does it all. Yeah, they were saying like he like pound for pound the strongest guy in the team or something like that. Which that's crazy. I could. That's wild. Uh, Jennifer said I would demand a duel to decide my championship. So, in these duels, are we doing like the old Western style? Got the. Uh, Got nah, the, uh, bro, we we got the we got the swords, bro. We oh, we doing one of those, the fencing yeah, type. One hand behind the back, you know. At that point, I'm gonna go get lightsabers out. Ooh, now that's all. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Man, hey man, I'm a, I'm a Jedi warrior in the back of my head. Um, but yeah, Josh Jacobs. Just to go back to him, my yeah. gosh, that's one of those. Man, matter of fact, we, we should create a a quick team. Just the first team they wrote me off and didn't write back. Type I was team. bro. I was about to say that. I was about to say we, we should name it the Geno Smith Award. <laughs> Josh Jacobs, by far, he he definitely calls flies for running back. Bet on himself. Yeah. He's gonna get paid. Somebody gonna pay him. If it's not if it's not the Raiders, somebody gonna pay him this offseason. Uh, do they like because they didn't ex- they exercise this option? So is he gonna be a free free agent or a restricted? Free oh agent? yeah, they uh like last off season uh, they uh declined his fifth year option. So, <laughs> ooh, that man gambled on himself and uh he is in Vegas. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he probably about to get out of there though. I don't blame him. No, I won't bet. All right, so. So I have what you call the second half surge champ. Basically, in the second half of the season, this man just took off, completely took off, and I went tight end for this position. Matter of fact, he was in the game last night. His name is Evan Ingram. Ooh. Okay. Wanted to, you know, give that man some love because all of a sudden, like, this, he became – Trevor Lawrence's favorite target. He he just yeah. turned into a baller. Like when he came out, when he got drafted by the uh the Giants, it was a lot of like hype for this man just because of his physical talent. Like this man was had a four, I think he had like a four, four or four, five, something for a tight end. It was ridiculous. Like he could flat out fly. 
just big body, just prototype. Of course, playing with the Giants, quarterback situation sucks. I don't know. But I just want to show some love to Evan Ingram there. Um, while we can. Uh, Jennifer, I guess going back to the heckler here. Eckler had, is a great fantasy football fan, too. Shows up for the championship week. You know, that's another thing. Austin Ooh. Eckler is pro fantasy football. Austin Eckler, like, I think – like either two years now or three years in a row. If you if you draft Austin Eckler on your team and and if you win that week and you send a screenshot to Austin Eckler, he'll 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 give out signed jerseys to to those fans like once a week. Like he'll pick a lucky fan, you show him a screenshot. Chances are you might have a chance to get an Austin Eckler jersey. He's for it. He talks about fantasy football. Yeah, so, and you know who doesn't care about fantasy football? Miles Sanders. I'll never nah, draft him again. At, at all. That man literally said, I don't know. Okay, all right, bet. Gotcha, buddy. Yep. We we, I guess we we don't care about you either, Miles Sanders. Right. Oh, man. Oh, look at this guy here. This guy, Mr. Reed. Finally, we had high hope for Evan Ingram. So, so yeah, Evan, I mean – you're in a great situation. Um, definitely uh, won me some coins on uh, DraftKings as well. So thank you, sir. Um, okay. Uh, Jennifer also says Josh Jacobs let you down. Jamal Williams deserves the crown. We 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 should give Jamal uh, Williams some love here because I deem Jamal Williams this year's James Conner, as in. Last year, James Conner found the end zone. I don't know how many times it was very fantasy relevant. Jamal Williams is in the same boat, but I feel like Jamal Williams is in a better situation because that because he's part of the Golfins, and the Golfins <sighs> scores points. And, if and he's mistaken, another person that should be a part of that uh, that Geno Smith team because I think it was constantly week after week we were writing him off because you got Swift coming back from injury. It's like, oh, what kind of impact is he gonna have? My man still showed up. Welcome to the Thanks. team, Jamal. <laughs> all right so so we got geno smith at quarterback because we got to have geno smith at quarterback for that yep. all right so we got josh jacobs and yep. we got jamal williams. Uh, jamal williams so okay so we got our two running backs okay, okay. Right, so we need two wide receivers and a tight end. um you might put evan ingram bro we wrote him on what am i expecting him so we got we need two wide receivers we need a flex you said, uh, all right, okay, let's see who we got. Let's keep going. All right, let's see. Uh, Ray said uh, it would be something to watch how the Ravens go about signing Lamar Jackson. Like, me personally, I, I felt like Lamar was chilling until they do something with the contract. I know they say they're going to wait till after the season, but I also feel like I have no rush. Baltimore keeps losing. My value keeps going up. Yep. So I guess I am curious to see how that plays out because, you know, I, I feel like Lamar doesn't mind going to South Beach if, you know, if things happen. But we'll see. Uh, our counterpart said uh, Jay Will had balled out this year. Listen, Swift and Williams combo is tough one of the league's best tandems. I'm hoping they keep him. I think Jamal Williams was an absolute glue guy for that whole team in that locker yeah. room. Like he he's part of that Dan Campbell grit movement, so they 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 got to keep that man. They have to. All right, so um, buh, 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 buh. all right, so I'm gonna call this one lightning in a bottle award. Um, just out of nowhere, just top player a couple times we got the week, just turn fantasy teams around. Um. You might call me a homer for this one, but I feel like it's warranted just based on what he did from like week seven through 14. That's my boy. That's my boy. RB1. Hey. For fantasy, I'll take it. Yeah. He tore it up. Most definitely tore it up. Fantasy relevant. Like, yeah. Like, his, his, his athleticism, like, really. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, my Lord. Uh, I know I had to play against him one week, and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, man, he he definitely saved my saved my season in one of those leagues for sure. And I got him in dynasty, and so I'm curious to see how that pans out going mm-hmm. forward. But I got a question for you at the end of the show. Oh, all right. So uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, Jennifer says, uh, "In zone generations should get an award in itself." Hey. Oh, she gave us a wrote me off. You wrote me off because y'all said Royce. <laughs> <laughs> that man came back. He said, You forgot my name. Hey, anybody I'm that him. had D Hop on their team that 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 somehow survived until that point, yeah. D D Hop D Hop, matter of fact, catapulted me to the finals in that 16 team league, even though at the end the quarterback situation got a little murky, but. Yeah, he he said he said I'm him. Like, come on, man. He got going to Mount Rushmore at some point. Like, man, top ten. Something I don't know because the quarterbacks he played with and his production, like throughout his career, I had to play against this man twice a year. That man never disappointed. Dude, he's quarterback proof. We found that out a long time ago. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, this man had Brian Hoyer at quarterback and. Tim Savage. That's enough said. Brian Hoyer, Tim Savage. Uh, who's the cat they got from uh, Atlanta that came there? Like, he was like his probably longest tenure. Uh, Matt Shop? Matt Shop. Yeah, he was out there with Matt Shop. Still hey. tearing it up. Hey, Matt Shop was, was decent until until that one stretch. He kept it on pick sixes like every game, and that was the end of his career. Yeah, there he goes. Sean got it. Matt Shop. Man. Uh, Jennifer also said Christian Watson. Now, I don't disagree, but I say we we should keep thinking. I might use Christian as a flex option, though. Okay. But so, so far, we got Geno, we got Jacobs, we got Williams, we got D-Hop. Christian Watson, I'm still – we might use him as a flex, but we got Evan Ingram, so we need another – Wide receiver. Oh, she said, I see he's more than lightning in the bottle. Fields is just good. Yeah. Yeah. So Fields was very consistent. The reason why I say lightning in the bottle, it was just more so the way that they started, like, offense didn't do anything. And then all of a sudden, from that New England game Monday night, it just shot out of a cannon. And then it kind of, like, kind of let people down in again in that Bills game. But from that stretch, it was just like, like, how much more can he do? Um Jennifer says uh Jarek McKinnon at 29 had a lightning in the bottom second half. Facts. Matter of fact, McKinnon scored in six straight games, including yesterday. Hmm. McKinnon uh <laughs> dude is, is McKinnon the, the true RB1 in Kansas City? We we started off with CEH. We're trying I mean, to figure it out. Like it, that was a mystery the entire season. Man, McKinnon is definitely one of those that they got written off. Yeah, I think he. he I think he's probably a little bit more flex worthy than Christian Watson. We'll 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 keep dissecting that one. Cool cat. Good morning. Uh, did you win? How did your league finish? We we're curious to see what. Ha- I'm curious. We're curious. See how your league, uh, if your league was affected by that cancel game. Oh man, um, let's see, wide receivers, any other wide receivers? I was trying, I was looking at stuff. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can pull up a quick list while we can. Fun fact, I think Devontae Smith finished wide receiver 10 on the year. That's crazy. Come on. You said wide receiver 10. You know, I'm, I'm looking at it, uh, Michael Pittman's right in front of him. Uh, what about Amon Ross St. Brown? Did we really write him off, though? I don't think we ever wrote him on. But we can definitely give him a shout out, though. Cause nah, you know what? Perfect. We'll go back to the Jags. Christian Kirk. Mm. Christian Kirk. 
Hey, you know, mm-hmm. as, a, as an AFC South, bro, we are in trouble. Like, the Colts are in trouble. I mean, the whole AFC South is in trouble. Bro, they didn't even have a, a Mr. Dice game. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Calvin Ridley. Like, so they still got a weapon <sighs> coming next nice year, and they're they're ascending right now. Uh, so, yeah, what about Christian Kirk? Mm-hmm. You know, people were like, oh, because I don't know if this is his first year or second year there. Oh, this is the first year. Yeah, so it was, it was like, all right, so you're you're really gonna leave, you know, the situation you have in Arizona for this. It was so much unknown, and then he gets there and he balls out. I mean, I mean, you're right because he was just viewed as a, um, it's like a slot deep threat type of guy, right? That's all he yeah. he did in that offense. He was just an ultimate boomer bust play, but. You know, he's showing people he could be a number one. Well, for yeah. fantasy purposes. When, when Calvin really get there, it's going to make it that much better. That much better. I say him, or like, uh, Brandon, are you, are you came out and, you know, he, uh, he did his thing this year, man. Uh, we kind of – it was kind of up in the air from years past, you know. They were talking about trades. It was the last year because of how underwhelming he was. Um, yeah. <laughs> man. Uh, cool cat said, uh, I lost because I had T Law and Diggs, and Garrett didn't do too well. Yeah, uh, that's sorry, sucks. bro. So, how did your how did your league go about splitting? Like, was it an even split? Like, what what happened with that? Definitely curious, or the payout structure in general. Uh, for Jennifer, like, no, McKinnon is trade high immediately for me. So, basically, she was definitely trade high on a CEH at the time, and rightfully mm-hmm. so. I don't know. Jennifer might be on this on you. But, I don't know, Kansas City, you don't have to do something to let us know who's your RB situation is. Like, we we, we need to know. And that high power offense, somebody got to <laughs> tell us something. Yeah. Ooh, she, hey, on free agent, so unrestricted free agent, what if they got Josh Jacobs? Bruh. Mm. He's available. Dude, same division. He can stick it to the Raiders twice a year. And you know, Ra- Raiders run defense is trash. Oh. Yeah. And he knows them. He goes against them in practice every Friday. I mean, every week. You know that garbage. Jeez. Yeah, it looks like they're going to keep uh, uh, Josh McDaniels. So he'll be just fine getting there. Yeah. My gosh. Jennifer said, how about T. Higgins stepping up when Chase went down and staying relevant when he returned? <sighs> hey, so I don't have any regrets drafting T. Higgins and Jamar Chase on my on, on the same team in two leagues this year. I, I have none because, yeah, Chase was – in the beginning, Chase was doing his thing. T. Higgins was still trying to figure out his way. And then Chase get hurt. T. Higgins steps up. And then when they come back, bam, they was – it was giving me production. I have no regrets on that one. How <laughs> you can had a great comeback. Oh man. Man, we gotta trademark these nicknames unless she 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 wants all the rights. Right. Uh, I'm just out of curiosity. See where T. Higgins and uh well sh- I can't even do it. I can't even like Whatever their whatever their numbers are, I can't even. It's, it, was, it was with an asterisk. They don't. They missing the game. That sucks. Oh man. Um. So, so our team is Geno Smith. Yep. Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams. Uh, Evan Ingram. D Hop. Uh, yep. D Hop. We got to put D Hop. So, we, are we putting Christian Kirk on there or? I'm I'm okay with that. I said we're putting him on a bench, you know. Um, are you can. Um, let's see, Cool Cat said they gave me 16 points for Diggs, but I was just losing so bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, gotcha. Oh man, understood.
Is D Hop playing today? I probably I, I would say no, but let's see what they're talking about though. But you know, that's like so cool. Like I haven't paid attention to any injuries or anything this week because fantasy football is over. Now it's like one of those weeks where I can just sit back and watch football. I've been able to do that for the last couple of weeks. I don't know if I if I said this uh last week, but it's kinda like uh after I got put out of fantasy football and the Colts were the Colts are basically in the hospice unit. We're just waiting for the season to be over. Uh like yeah. We're we're done. We're yeah. We're dog food. I've been watching football, just enjoying the game of, of football. It's like, yes. That is like a, a good feeling where stress free, you know, at the, you know, there, there's no uh, nothing hanging on the line with, with your teams or just in general. You can just actually enjoy the sport, be an actual fan of the game with no biases. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm dying to ask you this question. So, yeah, draft is coming up. Uh, it's April. What is yeah. your one wish that you want for your Bears to get? What do you want? Definitely, my uh, my coworker and I we we talk about this like daily. Me personally, I'm hoping I'm I'm hoping uh, you know, Jeff Saturday can get one more L for us. And uh, so Texans can win, and we can take that number one pick. And it's only, and it's not even to to use the pick, but just to gain more draft capital. Okay. Either way, I'm pretty sure we're going to trade our pick, trade down a little bit for more draft capital. Or, or if we did keep the pick, the person I'm looking at, hopefully, is uh, that Anderson guy from Bama. Oh, Anderson. Yeah. Okay. I like All him. Right. Um, or it, it honestly, it all depends what they do in free agency. I know the wide receiver market in free agency isn't the greatest right now, unless some veteran wide receivers get cut, i.e. D hop. I mean, that's a that's a possibility or something like that. Speak, hey, speaking of, uh, did you know that your leading receiver, who who you know who your leading receiver is right now for your team? <laughs> if it's still Mooney, I'm I'll be shocked. It's still Darnell Mooney. And well, he ain't played since what week eight. Whenever we played, uh, I think Jens Jets, whatever week that was. Yeah. Hey, and I keep I keep defending my guy. Yep, hey, y'all better put some respect on that man. Then I like him. I do. He, I just know he's not a true number one. I like him. I want him here. Hmm. I'm just saying, like, keep 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 him, keep Claypool, and give me a, a true number one. I'll take even, that. I'll take that. You trip. haven't even used Claypool yet. You haven't even used him. That man's been hurt like half the time he's been here. You know, look him up. But uh yeah, bro, all I want for uh all I want for draft day is a, a quarterback. Hey, I mean under 25. Look, look <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying you y'all lose to the Texans. We get this number one pick, you can trade up. Nah. And get this quarterback. You, you don't want you don't want a uh, Bryce Young or uh, CJ Stroud. You know what, man? This is the first year, and I, I'm well. It's feels disgusting for me saying this. This is the first year I can't. I don't trust Alabama or Ohio State quarterbacks. Just don't because you're in this great system. You, you're surrounded by this great talent, but I almost got a little faith in CJ Stroud. I watched him in that, in that bowl game, and even though they lost, I was like, yo, you're number one receiver, the next greatest uh, Harrison to hit the league. Man. Now, that man's a dog. And we still got one more year. Uh, so I, I wouldn't be mad for C.J. Stroud. Some people are saying Will Levis. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I'm not for sure about him. No, uh-huh. No, I, I get it. Uh, to answer your question, uh, D Hop is out. I just found that out. But uh, no, I don't like watching CJ Stroud. Like he definitely rolled. Like his stock went way up after that game. Yeah, and I'm still mad at Ohio State because they had the defense on the ropes, and you decided to settle for a game-winning field goal. I do not settle for game-winning field goals with college kickers. I just don't do it. 
They miss too much. Um, he missed bad too, bro. Dude, Van- Mike Vanderjack esque. Yeah. Uh, did y'all hear about the Ravens Bengals coin toss thing? Man, the Bengals out this whole situation, the Bengals got screwed the most by far. Because I, I'd be darned if I'm the Bengals and I somehow got to get matched up against the Ravens in the first round, and my in the home field is decided by a coin flip. That's mm-hmm. upsetting. That is upsetting. Jen says, I don't even know who the QB today is. Yo, Flacco, what you mean? Yeah, it is Flacco. Yo, Joe, Joe. Shoot. He, hey, Joe Flacco about to secure him another backup spot next year. <laughs> he about to go out there and sling it. Hey, or or he, he can go out like 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 Kobe in his final performance and just ball out and just leave it at that. Yeah. Hey, at the end of the day, he is a Super Bowl champion. Joe Flacco. Uh I only care if he grew the F you man chew the food man chew mustache again. Oh boy. That that stash on, on flack. Boy, yeah. boy, boy. I remember that one. Uh CJ was running around like crazy. I mean, he dude, he it would kind of remind me of like what Deshaun Watson had to do during during his college tenure in those bowl games and stuff. Yeah. Just put the team on his back. Like, I don't know. I, that's why I, I appreciate, like, prospects and guys, like, that's, you know, that's going to get drafted actually playing in these games. I mean, you never know. Like, like yeah, you can get hurt. I mean, but that's any given time frame. But I, and I think that's going to be a knock on Will Levis, bro. I understand. Like, because he didn't play in that bowl game, and Kentucky got smacked. Uh, you got Bryce Young. Who you know, we are, you know, he was projected number one draft pick, you know, and quarterback, played. and he played CJ Stroud. I mean, he had no choice. Will he Anderson, play. top three yeah. play, top three pick, play, just play. That's that's going to be a knock against Levis right there. I, I feel like because it's like, all right, well, that's that's a little selfish, big dog. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the that's the con. Yeah. Like, yeah, pro, like you don't get hurt, but con is like. Mm. Even if I'm correct, even Hayden Hooker, uh, or his uh, ACL was out there on the, at least on the sideline with his boys, like with the troops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not a fan of that at all. So, well, that game is tomorrow, right? Yeah, dude, National I got to work too. I can't even watch it. I'm so mad. Hope TCU Dang. wins. That would be like perfect. Yeah, give me That'd the be like, especially going into. Uh, you know, like 18 months from now, they actually get the, the 12 team playoff thing going. Yeah, that, that'd be perfect. Change the whole, you know, your whole perception of college football playoffs. That'd, that'd be great. They they found a way to put Alabama in it every year. <laughs> I mean, you had Nick Saban going on every like show trying to promote Alabama to get into the playoffs. <laughs> it was terrible. You it's know what terrible. else is going to happen? Notre Dame is going to be in it as well. By default. They, they they're gonna, gonna be in every year. Get boys in there. <laughs> hey, we got a quarterback. We got top uh, QB uh, uh, in the transfer portal. We all get. Yep. Uh, they got the kid from uh, what? Um, dang it! I had it. I think was it West Virginia. Hold on, let me look real quick. Uh, I just saw it too. Uh, Have to get rid of some spam here. Ah, hold on. What's his name? All right, so it's uh Sam Hartman. Okay, Sam. he played Wake Forest. Uh, yeah, we got Wake Forest quarterback. He coming out there, you know, come slinging with the boys, with the boys in green, green and gold. Huh. All right, I'll be I'll be taking a look next season. I'll be taking yeah. a look. Yeah. Well, you'll see. It. You'll see it in the playoffs, national championship. You know. All right. So, so I got the. So I got a fantasy MVP award, and I guess the almost fantasy MVP award. Hmm. And so, the almost, I would say, goes to the player that basically had it. Uh, until he got hurt. He had it. And I feel like he's taking everybody to the promised land, too. 
Uh, and that is Mr. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, okay. And you can also say the same thing in real life. I felt like he had the MVP until he got hurt, too. I mean, he should still get it. I mean, he just – just like Lamar Jackson, he's showing his value right now, like not being on the field. You know what they said? They were like, oh, you could throw any quarterback into that that system and it would be, nah, that's just hurt right there. I feel like they're not going to give it to him anymore. Well, who gets it then? You know, give it to Mahomes? Probably. Why? <laughs> Best regular football. I hope the Lions make the playoffs. I do too. I do too. It, it's to the point where I'm. I, I picked the Rams to beat the Seahawks today. Just, just so that scenario can happen. I don't expect it to happen, but I want them to make the playoffs. Uh, cool Cat said, uh, "I wonder what team will take a shot on uh, Stetson Bennett in the NFL. Well, in the draft. That's that's the uh, twenty-five year old quarterback, right? If I'm not mistaken." From uh Georgia, Georgia, yeah. Who's the same age as Josh Allen? Yeah, I don't think. I think that's another year in a great system right now. Man, the the first person that comes to mind when I read that was Brandon Whedon. Brand, I was I was like, who was it? Brown? Brandon Whedon. Yeah, I don't know, man. He might be. Yeah. <laughs> and Deshaun was like, he been at like thirty eight. <laughs> He closed. Uh, he could change your motor oil. Oh, man. Hertz was amazing this year. He definitely, definitely. Dude, I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little upset because I had Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown in our Destination Fantasy League. I ain't making mm. playoffs. That makes me so upset. Mm. My, team, <laughs> my team was too stacked not to even sniff the playoffs. But things happen. Uh. Apparently, Jen says go Irish. Oh, yeah. Um, for Deshaun, Hurts is his fantasy MVP this year. I get it. But I kind of, I guess I kind of went chalk on this, but fantasy MVP for me is Mr. Mahomes. Because week in and week out, this man. He's dropping 25 to 30 points. And even without – even yesterday's performance, you take that out, he has the highest point total this year for fantasy players across the board. And he did it without his speedy cheetah this year. His, he turned into a better quarterback. So that's that's why I have his fantasy MVP is the catch-up man, Mahomes. Yeah, even yesterday. Yeah, I think yesterday. Yesterday was the lowest scoring game at nineteen. You only had one two two oh two one two. Yeah, I mean, shoot, the way that uh, <laughs> it, the way they was running on them. I mean, yeah, you didn't need. Uh, huh? Yeah, well, well, like Jared uh, Stedham was gonna keep them in the game. Oh, that's a good question. Where you got Eckler on the fantasy MVP ladder? He would be, I guess, for me. At worst, third. At worst. Yeah, best third? Because you, you said at you got uh, Mahomes. I uh, mean, he could be right after Mahomes for me. Because I, I, I had, you know, Hurts. If Hurts didn't get hurt, then it would be, be a different order. Hmm. But Eckler, 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 Eckler. The heckler. The heckler. I mean, we, we gave him the first award today. Yeah. I mean, by far, number one RB this year. Number one touchdown getter. Been the most consistent thing in that. Chargers team that has been inconsistent at times this year. Finally playing a playoff game uh, next week. So I got them between second and third for me on that list. What do you think? Uh, 
I would say I would say at best third, top five because I would put Justin Jefferson over him. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, <laughs> I put Justin Jefferson over. And I, I I know I'm probably missing somebody. That's why I said at best. Let me see, we'll let me be, see if I can. Uh... At, at best four, he's fourth or fifth. No, see. absolutely no. He's fifth. He's fifth. You know, I put Christian McCaffrey over. But Eckler had better production this year than Christian McCaffrey. And everything? Hold up. Well, so as far as the yards, McCaffrey had more rushing yards and receiving yards. It was the touchdowns that catapulted uh, Eckler here. But the touchdowns, my gosh. I mean, oh, yeah, worth so many points. McCaffrey out there catching. Uh, that, man, that man was catching, throwing TDs. That man did everything. Can't say you're wrong. Yeah. I can't say you're wrong. Jen says all turf should be torn up by next season no more. Turf is ruining a lot of uh, people's uh, seasons here with these knee injuries. Yeah. Jen, I'm going to need your boy Brees Hall to come back next year with some authority. Because, man, he, he was – Taking my team to the promised land until till that happened. Boy, oh boy, Deshaun said if Hurts didn't miss a game, he'd be fantasy's top scoring quarterback easily. And that's what I'm saying. Uh, and I guess in regards to uh, um, Patty, he said uh, he did it with uh, Trashy Juju. I told you, I can't stand Juju. <laughs> so, no, no love for Juju on the show. <laughs> None, none. There's the TikTok himself, bro. I don't even think I mean, I lost a lot of subscribers after that. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Jennifer said, I think it's Kelsey Eckler Mahomes, but depends on your format. And Kelsey had a great year, too. I mean, George Kittle does it again, though. George Kittle saves the day, the second half tight end, bro. Like. So, so it, 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 is George Kittle really Clark Kent turning into Superman? Is that what it is these days? Basically. Man. I can't wait to the offseason. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I think I don't know how excited you get during the offseason because there's so many moving parts, man. Dude, I just cannot wait. Dude, I'm, I'm very excited for March and April, especially since my, my team could be a player in this. That's yeah. why I'm really excited. Like, let's see what we can do with all these – because apparently it's about a good 10 running backs that's, like, pretty darn good that's actually going to be on the market. And I know, you know, you're not really supposed to pay for running backs. I get that. Lifespan is short. But you don't need it. Y'all got Montgomery and Herbert. Man, man Montgomery's on the he, – he, he could be a free agent too. I would keep – like, he, did he not hold – P.O.P., hold him down. Did he, not, <laughs> did he not hold him down? Like, cool. Yeah, I want Hellman Mooney. Let me get both of them, bro. Y'all disrespectful. I'm man. legally blind to David oh, Montgomery. Yeah. I'm legally blind, man. Man, get, 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 man. Free, hey, free both of them. Free both of them. I get a third for both. And a pack of Skittles. <laughs> Who doesn't like Skittles? Man. Jen says uh, Kelsey was a ma- was a massive advantage this year. A wide receiver won when most can't get points at tight end, and that is exactly why. And, and he was probably – him, Barkley, my quarterbacks between Lamar and Tua, D-Hop, was probably the main reason why I made it to the finals in that 16-team league. When you're in a 16-team or when you're in deep leagues, you got to have elite players at scarce positions. You have to. Kelsey was a cheat code for me. I prioritized Kelsey. I think I got Kelsey in the second round. I made sure I got that man. Because wide receivers come a dime a dozen. So I 100% agree there. And then Deshaun said, in this order, he has Hurts, Mahomes, Jettis, Heckler, and Kelsey. I won't disagree with that. I mean, it's hard It's hard to disagree with that. Yeah, what do you yeah, think? Pretty solid. All right, I can do that. Because, man, Justin Jefferson made everybody on the Vikings irrelevant this year. 
as far as fantasy, like Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cochain, whatever you want to call him. I mean, he had a, he had his moments. It was Anthony Calories. He had his moments. David Cook, you hey. know, was a dark hey, throw every now and then. I mean, why that? <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> it was the empty calories, man. I like Kirk, man. I, I, yeah, the whole chain. Dude, up, hey, come on, man. Dude, we, we we were saying that Kirk Cousins and uh, Kenny Galladay should be on the team, same team. You got empty calories and just burning calories because Galladay just out there running around, not getting any production. <laughs> Bro, they said, uh, <laughs> bro, it was like some, I saw some stat. It was like how many yards Kenny Galladay was away from getting his like bonus. <laughs> like, like <laughs> it's a third amount, like like thirty five. I mean, uh, what is it? I'm saying it's like like three hundred something yards away from him getting his bonus, uh, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Dude, it was the catches. It was like he needed another 76 catches. Right. <laughs> Dude, that man is out oh. there running around. Need 70. Okay, okay. Deshaun, Deshaun found it. 76 like, catches. I know. Dude. I was just like, dang, hey, but he's uh, very disappointed. Dude, Minnesota, get rid of Adam Thielen. Go get Kenny Galladay. Him and Kirk Cousins would be great. Great together. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. It's perfect fit. The calorie club. Yeah. Dude, man, that. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave Kenny alone. Kenny right. G alone. My gosh. Man, oh man, oh man. Do you so is there any moment in the season that that that, that was memorable to you or you just want to forget altogether? Just anything, just general. Uh which is in one of my leagues, man. Uh, I, I feel like I should be the fantasy owner of the Geno Smith Award because I, I talked to you guys about this. I was like 0-6 in the league and made it to the playoffs, uh, won first round of the playoffs, and then, you know, lost second round. You know, but uh, I was like, oh, and I was the defending champion in that one. I was like, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. You know, and I start beating people. I was, <laughs> and, I would. I made sure that I, I got on our little little chat on Facebook. I always made note. It was like, "Hey, I got another one." And they was laughing. I looked at all the laughing emojis. I was like, "All right, cool." And then when I started putting boys out, it was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, you don't notice." So if anybody's watching, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to write my man's off. This guy right here, heart of a champion. Hey, it's hard to man. It's hard to knock out a, the the previous champ, man. It's yeah. it's just something Fun. about it. What about yourself? Um, I would say hmm, it's tough. I would say the first round. It was the first round of playoffs for me in that sixteen teamer. Okay, where. I almost quote unquote shot myself in the foot by starting uh, Huntley instead of Tua because I was, you know, because it was supposed to be that that big snowstorm in Buffalo, right? Yeah. Snow game. And, it, and of course, when you actually start seeing live footage pregame, I'm like, I don't see a, a single ounce of snow in sight. And of course, Tua has a good game. But I was, and then entering Monday, I was down 14, coincidentally enough. Uh, and I had Saquon left and Saquon, I don't know, just the fact that when it came to relying on my stars to perform, <laughs> they definitely performed. So just the fact that I took a chance on Saquon this year and he bailed me out and got me to the finals, even though couldn't finish it. But Saquon just in general like that, that man there. Okay. That's, that's That's my guy this year. And I was high on Saquon before the season started, y'all. You, 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 and uh, Reed looked at me a little sideways on that one, but yeah. Hey, he, he showed up, man. I wasn't, wasn't nobody expecting. We expected to get two, three good games out of Saquon, <laughs> and, and probably hit the cart afterwards. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they had that bad boy ready, full of gas. So let's go get every game. We only missed one game this year. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think. Hey, bro, when it's contract year, you don't hurt. Like, nothing hurts. Boy. And that's Except another man. one that's going to gonna get paid, too. He's going to get paid. I would, but would you? I'm not – man, I'm not about to throw the whole brink truck at the man, but nah. – but if you ask me, would I would I want him here at the right box. price? You're, uh, huh? you, you ain't getting the brain truck. You can get the safety deposit box out the Dollar Tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now I would. Uh, if you ask me if I wanted him here, oh yeah, I'll sh- take him in heartbeat. That's my favorite running back in the league. I'll take him. He'd be a nice little one-two punch. I'll take him over Montgomery. I said it here first. Mm. I'll say it again second and third. Mm. Disrespect, man. Hey, Montgomery, if you if you listen to this, uh, go get uh, you and Mooney. Just request a trade. Y'all come right over here. The housing market is great. Um, we got third, <laughs> third, third round pick. Third. Now, you know what? I give you. A, yeah, I give you a third. Matter of fact, I'll take Pittman off your hands. Yeah, I didn't say no. nothing about taking Pittman. I appreciate my. I appreciate my receiver. But I, I'll take Pittman to pair with Mooney over here, though. We, we can do that. Campbell. I don't want. I, I really like. I don't Campbell. want Campbell. Why not? <laughs> that man is <laughs> sharing the same ambulance as uh as Saquon. What you mean? Right. Well, you you do. You said you want Saquon though. Campbell produces here. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Reed said, "I appreciate uh of my fourteen team in a similar mm-hmm. roster that was dominant on the back end of the season. Started off two and five, finished eight and six, won the chip, third one in the league in seven years." Hey man, those second half surges be real, bro. All right, so of course, like the Facebook uh, spy got me. They said Kenny Galladay needs one of the following this weekend to get his seven hundred fifty thousand dollar bonus: seventy six catches, 10, <laughs> 10 touchdowns, and eleven hundred and forty nine yards, or eleven hundred forty nine. So one of the three, Kenny Galladay get paid. So, uh, hey. I mean, the ten touchdowns—that's probably the more. Uh, that's more um, realistic, yeah. Realistic one. That's probably the more realistic. Oh, Hello. Yeah. Hey, but if he gets All the right. 10 touchdowns, he might be able to get the 1149. If he if he's taking it to the crib, you know, if they on the one, just throw it to Galladay and just let him go. <laughs> That's all he got to do. <laughs> yeah, they got to be first play. Like, boom, boom, boom. Hey, I I, I know you don't like your boy uh, Brady, but Brady likes to get people paid. So, he's playing with Brady right now. They probably will set right. it up for him. Really? Uh, that's another one. Hey, our backup quarterback would be Jerry Goff for the R team. So, all right. So, does do the Lions draft a quarterback? You don't have to. Like, you legit don't. It, what your offense wasn't an issue. It was your defense. I mean, you're telling the truth, huh? What do you guys think about that? Uh, I just I'm thinking draft now. I've been thinking draft for the past probably four or five weeks. Uh, you know, with my Colts. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Give me one more second. That's good. I I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, hey, Alec Pierce. Absolutely, absolutely. What do you What do you think about the Jared Goff? So like, do the Lions need to draft a uh, quarterback? Because um, they, they have a top pick, you know. And also, who won that trade? Who won the trade between the Lions and uh, the Rams? I know the Rams got the ship, but Matthew Stafford barely played this year. They're talking about him potentially retiring uh, because of, you know, the injury. Um, yeah, and, I mean, Jerry Goff is serviceable, a high-powered offense. So, yeah. And you got draft pick. You got draft capital as well. I mean, you're in a really good situation. Uh, it's, it's to the point they're talking about, uh, you know, McVay may not even be coached uh, next year, uh, you know, moving on to other other things. I think what – hopefully he's not pulling a uh, – what is his name? Uh, Urban Meyer, you know, everything goes to the can and it's time to leave, you know, type stuff after you've exhausted all your draft capital, like by trading it away. Uh, your salary cap is going to be crazy because they're doing that weird salary thing, like – yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. If he pops up uh, the year after, talking about he's ready to coach again, I'm gonna put him. Uh, I'm gonna put him in my Urban Meyer group. Yeah. Uh-oh. 
What's up, Jan? Got the wave going. I'm trying to see what that was. Any more questions? Let's see what else I want. Yeah, uh, while I'm waiting. Okay. Boom. There we go, Jan. I, I totally agree with you. Lions need defense. Um said so offense was not the problem. Okay, now we got somebody coming also. Uh, Justin says, golf won't play at this level for much longer. If a good QB is available, they won't pass on. Why? Yo, so, all right, here's a question for you, Justin. Like, so should they take a QB in the first round or wait till the second round? Maybe get a hooker who, you know, may not be able to play immediately, but later on, you know, he has the potential to be better. Uh, yeah. So, like, what, like, what do you think they should do? I mean, it's easy to. I mean, we don't know. We don't know how good Jared Goff, Jared Goff's going to play. He's got, he's got some. They're pretty, they're solid on offense. I can tell you that. That that's not the problem. And I know we saw we saw the meltdown kind of. Uh, okay, I said I think we're agreeing. So if you do take a quarterback, it's, it's not going to be first round defense, defense, defense for the Lions. Uh, it's I don't think I've ever seen this in my lifetime. The Lions are actually interesting to watch. Yeah, I, I know Barry Sanders, but I mean, we knew with those teams, you know, it was Barry versus everybody. Ooh, here we go. Yes, I think both teams won in that trade. People used to see golf's contract is too high, but not, yeah, absolutely. I, I totally agree with you, Jim. Uh, all right, Sean, our third leg. Okay. Oh, my bad. I'm on a. Uh, Sleepover duty. Yeah, sleepover duty, kids. Yeah. But uh, golf stock is uh, on the rise in 2023. Offense is loaded. Aiden Hutchinson is showing and making um, – makes up a franchise edge. And when, ja uh, when James Williams catches up, yeah, watch out. I keep golf, man. I, yeah, later on. Like, it doesn't even have to be a second round. I totally agree with you, Sean. Get him, get him a backup. Uh, or, like you said, if you can get somebody – if, if Hooker's available, I will get Hooker in a second. If you don't have, like, a major – somebody that you really, really, really like in the second round on defense uh, for the Lions. Uh, yeah, Deshaun, while you're on here, uh, if you got time, I asked Jamar about this. What is the one thing – well, give me, you can give me a couple of things you want your team to do in the offseason, either through the draft or um, in free agency. Mm -hmm. like, like, what do you want uh, – what do you want to see your team do uh, this offseason? Because I think you're in the same boat as me. I, you know, we're. I don't think you have any playoff uh, playoff shot. I'm no, no. Let me know. I mean, let me know what you what you got going. Got Jen. Say that's like a game manager in a dynasty. It quits after winning first season. Okay. And Deshaun beef up the D in early rounds. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay. We're gonna hide that. Okay. Uh, Deshaun, what do you want? What you want your Steelers to do, bro? Uh, yeah, we missed that on the show today. False. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see. Oh, here you go. Huh. Okay, <laughs> offensive line, offensive line, offensive line, offensive line. And I think you kind of want some, some improvement on offensive line. Well, do I got a deal for you? I got a center available if you want them. I'll trade you Kelly for a second or a third. Really good. Because uh, we have a guy in the back. We, we, I'll just rather get some more draft capital. We have another. Uh, our backup center is pretty decent. Uh, Danny Pinter. Um, yeah. Kelly got a little bit of contract. I don't know what y'all's um, salary cap is like. But I think that would be that a trade. That's a trade that could benefit both of us. You know, you guys get a you know veteran uh, solid. Because I, I think he played every game of the season in Kelly. Um and we can get Danny Pinter in there, kind of fill the shoes, fill that boy. Uh, we don't. Danny Pinter can't play anywhere else on the line <laughs> except for center. He played. He played really good at center. Every game he's really filled. Um, uh, every every game that he's filled in, he's like actually played good. So I would like, yeah, I would trade. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, Ballard up, have him call over to the Steelers, see if we can make this happen. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I can say it'll help us both. 
So hi for a healthy Jameson Williams. He's a, absolutely. Okay, me, me and Deshaun, we're on the same page. We we're negotiating for our team. I'm telling them we could trade Ryan Kelly to the Steelers. Uh, I don't know, maybe get a second, third. Right, it's our starting center. They need offensive line. He's a veteran. Our backup center is actually pretty decent. He can't play anywhere else on line, but he can play center. I don't get it because he didn't play center at Ball State, I don't think. I don't think he, he played guard and, or tackle at Ball State, and, but he, he's showing up at center. So we trade him. We get a little bit of draft capital. That helps both teams out. Let's go. I want a quarterback. So if you got time, I want a quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. And I want a left tackle. I mean, you can go get a booty cheeks car or get one in the draft. Or or whatever San Fran decides to do, right? Uh, you know, uh that's another that's one of the teams I'll be watching in the offseason. So it's like what is what does San Francisco do with Trey Lance? Uh Purdy's looking nice. Roger Moore. Uh no it's joking. Uh, Purdy's looking good, man. So you keep Purdy and Jimmy G, because uh, they had to go back to Jimmy G again. Like I don't know, he's he's a uh, he's Mister Faithful. Oh, I heard I heard that the Jets are gonna get Aaron Rodgers. I get well, that's, this is breaking news right here. I would honestly like to see Aaron Rodgers go to the Washington Commanders. I would like to see Commander Rodgers out there. That sounds right that sounds right just like commander rogers uh i think that would be that would be a good look just being honest uh hopefully my friend uh demont's watching big big commanders fan and yeah i need to be nicer to him about his team even though they beat us this year but i would love to see uh commander rogers because they got the receivers they got you know good running backs they got a good defense uh i was gonna say good d but we're not putting that pause on there uh you know what? Yeah. John, okay, so there is a there is a situation. Okay, so I won't be opposed to us going to go get Derek Carr if you still draft a quarterback with that first pick in the draft. So if you go get uh CJ Stroud or you know Bryce Young if he's available or Will Levis and you're sitting letting him sit in the back and develop behind Carr, yeah, but I don't want to put my whole season on. Derek Carr. We get another wash quarterback. Like, bro, I'm I'm sick. I am sick. Like, I don't yeah. Wash ain't even a yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Anybody got anything else? Anything else? The Jets are gonna get Aaron right now. I keep thinking about that, Jen. Uh huh. I don't know. He can play in the cold. Aaron Rodgers could play in anything. Uh, even though it wasn't his best year this year. Uh, uh, but y'all got uh y'all got uh Mike White, man. What which y'all need Aaron Rodgers for when you got Mike White? You got Mike White and Zach Wilson. Oh, y'all don't need him. <laughs> y'all don't need uh Yeah, I need it. Uh y'all don't need Aaron Rodgers. They got Mike White. Keep keep building around Mike. Mike out there and slang that ball. All right. I'm waiting for Jamar to come back up. Please keep flooding. Uh, any questions you may have? I think it's almost time to wrap it up. Oh yeah. See, Mike White out there. He, he doing his thing. He doing his thing. Like. Seriously, I think they've tried to, and I understand with where they drafted him at. They've tried to get uh, Zach Wilson in. Uh, <laughs> they tried to get Zach Wilson in like so much just because of where he was drafted at. So, yeah, I, hey, you, you got something sitting right there? Just go with it. So, yeah, hey, Commander Rogers, you heard it here first. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I what's that about? Oh, you know what, Paul? Uh, Lamar Jackson. I would, hey, Lamar Jackson to the Jets. I'm all for it. I'm for it. I would love it. I'd love to see it. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. I'll wish that on you. 
because I don't think do we have to play the Jets? We may have to play the Jets next year. I don't know if y'all can have if y'all have to play against the Colts as long as he sits against when they play against the Colts, I'd be happy. See, hey, I, hey, you heard it here first, Commander Rogers, man, Commander Rogers. Uh, so we'll take Aaron Rodgers to the Washington Commanders, and it's time to see. Uh, Jordan Love. It's time, time to give him some love. Let's get him out there. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. Uh, what is the Chicago Bears uh, CEO takes his talents to the Washington. That'd be funny if the, the Bears had to play against them and he's got like one more game against them. Smart, where you at, man? There he is. Yo. Yeah. You get it? I think so. Yeah. It's been up there chatting it up. Yeah, see, so y'all having a good time. Yeah. Well, why don't y'all go get Mike White? Why don't y'all go get Mike White? Oh, no. Yeah, we having that P. Diddy stare off right now. <laughs> Dang. Commander Rogers, sir, with honors. Oh, yeah. Send Jamar some really quick. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to come through. It's the last show of the season. All right. Whew. Man, oh, man. Commander Rogers. Oh boy. Yeah, so I um I'm proposing. Uh <laughs> my bad. I'm trying to I, I like where is Aaron Rodgers gonna go? I said I would like to see him go to uh, Washington. I think that would be perfect for him. Uh and Justin agrees, he just wants him out of the NFC North. <laughs> Captain Jack. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. Captain, Captain Jackson. Jackson. I mm. love it. Lamar Jackson to the Jets now. Hey. Mommy. Yeah, that'll be that'll be dope. Yes. All right. So we're gonna get this wrapped up. Make sure you follow, support, and subscribe. Hit the notification button, and there's a possibility you can get free merch. Uh, we want to talk about where we're available uh, to watch podcasts. We got uh, Facebook, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, iHeart Radio, and other platforms. Hey, if you're feeling real generous this year, if your your New Year's resolution is to help some folk out. Hit the cash app at the bottom of Destination Fantasy. It helps us grow the channel and you know continue to be great. Good stuff. Uh, I guess we'll address this one here and then we can get out of here for sure. Uh, can feel the approval on his passing stats. We give him a pass for his lack of playmakers, but I want to see his stats improve. I do too. That's the next, that's the next step. We we all know that. Oh, I was <laughs> waiting for this. <laughs> This man that's, that's next to me keeps calling him RB one, and, and rightfully so. He he is he's been a running back this year for for a lot of different reasons. So is, I'm waiting on Ryan Poles this offseason. That's another reason why I'm excited. I'm like, okay, get this man the tools that he need. Get him off the line so he can go through his progressions in a timely manner. Get him some pass catchers that can get separation. I, see if he can throw the ball. Get him a number one so we can see if he's proven or not. So yeah, please. Get him well, everything well, that you need. Take the best wide receiver in this draft, then. Who do you think that is? Is that buddy off of uh, – is it TCU? Is there a guy off of uh, the USC, it. Atkinson? Um, there's – I think there's about three – about three good wideouts, or three or four of them that I know. But I think it just – I'm okay with drafting one, but I definitely would love for them to – Somehow go get T. Higgins because I know they're not going to pay T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, and Joe Burrow. Go, bro, go not get T. Higgins, bro. Chill out. Hey, man. No, there's no way. Is, is, is a contract year for him or is it next year? He, he's up for an extension this year since he, he was a second round pick. 
Yeah, bro, y'all not getting T. Higgins, bro. Hey, man, I just know they can't pay all three of them like that. Yeah, they can. Look at the Rams. That's the Rams. Cash over cap. Everybody's got the ability. Man, look, look, look at Sean McVay. I'm going to lose in season. No, oh, I don't know if I want to coach no more. Oh, uh, yeah, I just – I talked about that. I said, if he does that, I'm putting him in that Urban Meyer uh, group. They go, oh, my team sucks. Oh, man, I got other things to do now. <laughs> like, nah, I don't want to hear that. So, the receiver, was it uh, – that Jordan Addison out of uh, out of USC. USC, probably. yeah, yeah, he's a monster. Okay, see, I was gonna say that uh, I enjoy giving you a hard time about Justin Fields, but it's like, hey, this is the year where you have to improve as a passer. We know you're an athlete. We get it. Yep. Have they not drafted any offensive linemen? Have they not brought anybody in? Uh, at the end of the day, you have to improve as a quarterback. I want to see this man improve as a quarterback. Max. We get it. Dynamic. Dynamic with those feet. That man is Speedy Gonzalez out there. Uh, but you're going to shorten your shelf life like that. So uh, it'd be really cool if he was actually watching. It's like, hey, bro, get out there. Get with the best QB coach you can during the offseason and, you know, make those improvements. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> hey, fair enough. I just hope the GM can do his part, too. No, uh, no, uh, no, don't blame everybody else. <laughs> I just said, this, this, I said two. I ain't say, okay. I ain't say I, what. So, I mean, it's, it's, right. it's collective. <laughs> it, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. All right. Sean said, love you guys, man. Appreciate all the love from 2022. I'm sure I can speak for my fellow hosts that it was amazing for us. As far as growth, keep tapping in. I'm out. Adios. Appreciate you, Mr. Reed. Thank you for stopping by the season finale, our third counterpart of this show. <sighs> Man, I, I definitely – this this vision of mine definitely would not have grown as much as it has without him or you, Mr. West. So, so definitely appreciate both of you. Definitely appreciate Jen because she has been a loyal, loyal fan since day one here. Especially this year for sure. And then you got 808, you got Ray, you got Cool Cat, uh, Foxborough. I, I mean, the list goes on. There's plenty of guys. I um, keep growing, bro. That's so dope. Rhonda. Break it up. I don't know. What are you talking about? Yeah, who, talking about? Man, who is Frankenstein here? But, I'm but yeah, man, this, yeah, yeah, man, this this was a this was a good year. We definitely had our laughs, uh, but uh, I felt like we also, you know, gave out good advice. I mean, at the end of the day, players got to play. Um, I'm still lost, Ronnie. Who's Frank inside? Oh no! Now, now my thinking cap is on. Huh? Now my thinking cap is on. Um. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All in all, man, definitely appreciate you all. Um. So yeah, I guess in the off season, um, I don't know. Maybe we might do a you know free agent recap day. Maybe we might do the NFL draft. May maybe. Oh, mm. I hope so because somebody don't appreciate. <laughs> somebody don't appreciate. Legally blind. Yeah, hey, put him out there with old Tony. Uh, <laughs> old Tony Pollard. Yeah. No, nah, we'll, we'll take Tony. <laughs> we'll no, Tony put him out there with Tony. No, nah, no, nah, we're not doing, doing that. that. Uh -uh. We're not taking Zeke. Zeke. You can have Zeke. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but another 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 great season. Uh another great year for the podcast. Uh you know, it's been fun. And yeah, we'll see, you know. See what next year holds, you know. Uh you know, praying and stuff, you know, uh, happy for continued growth and you know all that goodness. All right. No. Until then, you all peace out. And uh we'll we'll stay in touch. We'll see you soon. Oh, yeah.